cannot give you, it is not mine. Uh, that one I cannot give you. Yes. I, I know with the spices, we take for granted like cinnamon and, and ground pepper and things like that. Are Peasants would have cinnamon. Okay. They would have cinnamon. Pepper, not as much. Uh, they would have saffron. Because saffron is a cotton wool. Oh, you're, you're like you're sitting here going, what? Saffron was a cottage industry in Cornwall for the last two centuries. And there's a lot they could grow on their own. The rosemary, the thyme, the basil. They can still grow that on their own. Aye. Uh, just be careful of parsley and wormwood. <laughs> they look very similar, but they have completely different tastes and properties. <laughs> My wife and I are having an argument. Uh, what was the name of the old side piece? I'm sorry, the Imperial Lady. What was her first name? Bess. You were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Was, was there a way for peasants to climb yeah. up the ladder? So actually, right now is the most social mobility we have ever seen. King Henry is very much a, a new man, a Renaissance man. And so we have the ability, I come from a peasant household, but I work in the household, well, I did, of the mayor, because as a cook, and even though I was a woman, I did such a good job. Uh, Mistress Wooler. Uh, makes a very good living at what she does. We are seeing an incredible movement of what is known as the merchant class. Aye. I mean, don't get me wrong, rank and social status is still very, very important. Aye. However, within that, there is a lot of movement. I mean, you're not going to move from a peasant to a noble. Right. Unless you marry really, really well, which is very, very unlikely. I mean, there are some people who have gone from, like, mistress to countess in three marriages or less. <laughs> but but you, you, they which started out as pretty true, high. It is true that you can go up ranks by marriage sequentially. <laughs> so, well, uh, you know, a baron might not marry a peasant. A baron might marry a merchant woman or something like that. And once she's a baroness, once the baron dies, then she can look forward to higher up yet. You just keep moving up. That's how you go mistress to countess in three marriages, alas. <laughs> yes, my lord. Is it true? I've heard this where the reason almond milk was first invented it was so that people on fasting days could have the simulation. People, he's asking why was almond milk invented? Yes, almond milk is used because on fasting days you cannot have milk. You can't have anything that comes from a from an animal. So almond milk is used as a substitute for all milk products. Uh, so we use almond milk in a lot of things. Almond milk is often made with wine. We really walk around hammered most of the time. Everybody's just always, that's why we're so happy. You can't drink the water. Yeah, you can't drink the water, so we're always drinking ale, mead, or, you know, almond milk made with wine. So that's why we're always such a happy bunch here in Rebel Road. Yep. Well, good my lords and ladies, we thank you most kindly. We do want to let you know that you can follow along with us on the Great Book of Faces. Uh, if you go to uh, Cakes and Ale, and it's on the receipt, so you can look at that. We also invite you to come back at 3 and 30, because now that we've told you how to get your food on, if you come at 3 and 30, we'll tell you how to get your drink on at Casks and Flasks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not there. She replaces me for that one. Maybe if you marry her. Oh, I like her. She maybe if you marry her. Yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> maybe if she knows so much about casts and flats. Uh, uh, but until then, I am Mr. Cecily Clark. I'm Master Thomas Bodley. And this has been Cakes, Cakes and, and Ale. Ale.